Hey, this is Drew with Make It Better, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Mesa Trail 2 by Zero Shoes. So Zero Shoes sent me these shoes to check out um, free of charge, just so I could give them a look, give them a try, and give an honest assessment of what I think about them. The first thing that stands out to me um, is if you can see the fine details of the rubber on the toe guard against the heel. And it's really against all the places where you're gonna have a lot of common wear and tear and you need a little bit of extra protection. Um, very cool feature. I even found it kind of helpful um, when I was pulling the shoes on to use that with my thumb as a little bit of a grip. Oh, that's super helpful. They feel extremely lightweight. I've been using these for about two weeks and haven't done any serious hiking with them, but I've used them um, in wet weather. I've used them in kind of a, a variety of terrain. And you can see they've got the very nice kind of steeper treading. So that'll give you extra grip. It works really good. Um, for natural environments, for grass, for gravel, for anything like that. What I did find is these are not very comfortable if you're walking on pavement or concrete, uh, anything like that. If you're gonna be doing that often, I would recommend looking at a different type of shoe from Zero Shoes. Um, something that has closer together treading and maybe a narrower or a less steep, less aggressive tread to it. So these are really designed to excel and be your, your best when you're using them into on a trail out in the wilderness somewhere. Um, these are really nice. One thing that I noticed with these as well as I've been trying them on is compared to other zero shoe hikers, I found that these had better water resistance to them. Now, honestly, I can't remember. I'm not sure. I don't believe that there's a water resistant barrier built into these. I could be wrong about that. Um, but compared to other, other zero shoes, hikers, these seem to let less moisture come into the shoe, which has always been something like that I've wanted to see happen with zero shoes. I know that zero shoes does have a water resistant hiker that's coming out as well so um i guess they've probably been hearing that feedback from other people i do have one thing that i noticed that i'm not wild about and that's the insole of the hiker itself you can see there's a nice little insole that probably gives a little bit of extra airflow and cushion i'm sure that you could wear these without the insole and they'd probably be fine to use but the insole itself I know this would do some slipping up um, as I was hiking with these on, which would cause the insole to bunch in towards there, slip up against the heel, and that's just bothersome. So I guess I, I might need to experiment with some different, uh, different socks and whatnot. And if I really wanted to make sure that keep these suckers in there, I could put some sort of a double-sided tape or something like that too, but that's just not something that you want to have happen when you're wearing your shoes. You want the insole to always stay in place. That was something that I did notice that I did not like, but that's really the only thing that I noticed that I did not like. I got a lot of compliments on the, the style of this when I was wearing them. Uh, several people said that these are the favorite zero shoes they've seen. So for what it's worth, my cool friends and family think these ones look really nice. I agree, the color is really, uh, really an attractive kind of steel blue color on it just very sporty super lightweight um yeah honestly i'm excited to try these out on the trail excited to see how these work uh, when they're really in the environment they're made for but for now i've been super impressed with them very comfortable that is the mesa trail 2 by zero shoes so Hopefully that helps you as you're looking for a good pair of hikers and uh, trail runners. I think these guys are a wonderful candidate for that. All right, cheers.